Months of hard work gone in seconds. That's what happened to a veteran's memorial at a local VFW hall. A drunk driver crashed into it just before Veterans Day. As Local 12's Brad Underwood tells us, now it's back to square one. VFW Post 2734 Commander Eddie Brierly has to walk to the back of the property just to see the remains of the two-week-old memorial. That's what's left of them. The two servicemen statues were built and painted to honor veterans from the Vietnam and Gulf Wars. The Mason County Sheriff's Office says Clifford T. Garden is responsible for the destruction. Brierly says T. Garden isn't a member of the post, but did have family members inside the hall playing bingo the night he crashed into the memorial. I don't know where he was going, but he just made a wrong turn, I assume. And he, you know, tore the pole down, bent the pole over, and uh, broke both of our statues. And I was very irate, very much so. Brierly and Bill Bowling say they've both put in more than 100 work hours on the project that took nearly a year to complete. It's, we haven't even paid for it yet. It hasn't been paid for yet. Now we've got to go through it again. <laughs> This isn't even a quick fix for the VFW. The flagpole is still in the back. They have the two statues, but they can't be reused. They have to reorder the two statues. That could take months. And they're probably not going to be able to start rebuilding this memorial until the spring. And uh, we're proud of them, but we'll get more. We'll get more. The men say they've gotten some calls from people offering help, but it will take time and money to make that rebuild happen. About the only thing they can do is if they want to help us send a donation to the post or call the post and talk to us. That's really going to be the big thing, donations. Commander Brierly told me he's already placed an order to the company in Blue Lick, Kentucky to make, remake the statues, but they won't be ready until the spring, allowing the Post uh, several months to raise the money to pay for the installation for the statues as well as the new flagpole. As for the man responsible for the destruction, he's still in jail on a $5,000 bond. Cami. What a shame. Brad, thank you. If you do want to help with the rebuilding efforts, though, we have links and information on local12.com.